All right, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be going through the new patch notes for the new Deadlock update, since it just dropped on us, and every two weeks, we are getting these big updates that are going to be really game-changing updates. They were like this in the alpha, or I guess the like pre-release, whatever you want to call that period, and they're going to continue to be like that until, I guess, the game officially releases, and who knows, maybe even after that, we're still going to get crazy updates like this, but... Yeah, let's just get into it. I'm probably not going to go over everything like when we end up like specific numbers because I'm not going to know how much that impacts stuff. But if there's like character specific stuff that I feel like I would be able to pick up on, I'll probably comment on it. So let's see, added profile page. Okay, cool. So they added a, there was like this little thing um, where you could see a lot of your stats and stuff. You had to go into like a specific command. That's not part of the base game. That's good. New report features. Awesome. Okay. Visibility of report button, also good. I've seen streamers complain about there no, being like a report button in the client, even though there is. Let's see, you could drag and drop items between categories and builds. Thank God, thank God. I actually think builds, like the whole UI, making it like a lot better is just a lot better for the game. So it looks like that's what they did for a lot of this. Localization, good, more people can play. Um, matchmaking window, okay. So they made the game more available like earlier. Players can only pause once per game. That's also good. I don't know if you guys saw that clip where uh, uh, I think it was like Oni Pixel. He was, uh, it was like his first round. He pressed B and he was like, oh, he could immediately just start abusing the pause button. So good that they addressed that. Various clients and server performance improvements. Okay. So hopefully the game will explode when I stream it. Added streamer setting to options panel. Causes player names and game UI panel to be hidden. Probably good. Yeah. Added melee training trainer bot to the gym area of the Ooh, did they visually redesign the the sandbox? We'll have to check that out. Added new game out of date status, uh check mark, okay. Items in the show their spirit power. I don't really know what this means. I'll have to like see it in game. I'm sure some of this I'm not gonna really pick up on in terms of impact until I get in game. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. When did they add this? And then it'll be like like some shit I read here. Uh the game will now prevent any quick okay. Okay, just a lot of bug fixes, it looks like. Added unavailable, okay. Let's see, spectator controls, okay. Okay, spectator mode got some updates. I hope they fixed some of the bugs, cause like, there was still like the weird spaghetti bug where people became spaghetti when you were spectating them. It was kind of like rough. New roost panel, okay, new music. I like new aesthetic stuff, so I'm all down for that. Okay, spectator count, that's gonna boost so many egos. Uh, motion blur, that's good. Let's see. Okay, a lot of bug fixes. New effects, okay. We, we, we love, again, we love new effects and everything. Um, fix parts of Shiv's coat. Okay, interesting. Custom effects. They did Lash Grapple Sand, again. Good uh, aesthetic changes. See, Binding Ward, uh, Soul Jar, Return Effect, Tinted Red like Minimap to make it more clear it's the return location. Okay. Fix b being able to spawn, well, his gun is spun up? He was able to do that? That's kind of stupid. Yo, new Lash voice lines? I already know there's going to be some like great shit in there. Lash has like some of the best voice lines of the game right now. So him just getting more shit talking is the greatest shit ever. Um... Added express state to zipline indicators when speed had increased from defeating enemy ba- Wait, you get a speed boost for ziplines when you beat an enemy base guardian? I did not know that. Added wall jumping- Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. Added wall jumping. Does not consume stamina. Requires input direction from wall. Can be done once- That's sick! Like, they just added a whole new feature right there. That's an insane mechanic, like, change right there. Move to flex, let's go. I was actually complaining about this a couple days ago. Why was there a flex slot on base guardians? And personally, I think the shrine one was like a lot more egregious, but why was there a flex slot on base guardians? That's so stupid. Thank God they got rid of that. Added ropes to some buildings to let you climb up. Hold jump key to latch onto them. Can shoot while hanging on them. What the hell? What is this? Yo, that's sick. I like that. That's really cool. It's more verticality. I wonder if they're going to like visually update it. See, I, I want to see how that fits in the world, I guess. Pair of teleporters has been added. Okay, some more teleporters. Cool. More teleporter location changes too. I just got them down, dude. This sucks. Teleporters are closed. To the okay. 
I mean, that's good. I feel like being able to, like, go across, like, lanes so quickly early on is, like, kind of insane. Guardians no longer... Okay, so you don't get an ability point. Oh. Interesting. Let me see. Looks like 3k is, like, a pretty good... Like, I, I'd say these two are probably some of the big jumps right here. Um, parry cooldown reduced from... Six or maybe honestly these three might be the most impactful. I, I don't know. I'd have to see how it is in game. Parry cooldown reduced. That's good. Probably bad for people like to spam uh punch though. They made earn faster? I mean I guess. Sure. Be able to what minimum range. Oh, thank god. Honestly the, the walker range was kind of obnoxious when they changed it, so I'm happy they uh kind of reverted it, not fully, it looks like, but I'll have to see how it feels in game. Place some bounce pads. I mean, that makes sense with a new mechanic. Next to the sideline. Okay, cool. New bounce pad. Okay, they, they made some verticality. Like, they, they added a little more verticality to the map again, which is good. And it was this, more passageways? Yeah, I'm down with this. I'm down with just changing the map to be more, like, dynamic. I like the, the stuff they've been doing to the map lately. That makes it a lot more engaging to play with if you know what i mean um tunnel walls okay again more like small changes that honestly i can't really like say much on considering i'm not like in game right now okay let's look at some weapon item changes uh hollow point rounds okay monster rounds oh they buffed i'm mean, not buffed wait they nerfed high velocity mag but now it has an upgrade interesting okay Melee charge, they buffed. I mean, I guess that's, like, a good way to kind of balance it out with, like, the parry uh, buff. So that's good. They really want people to use Titanic Mag, like, really bad right now. Jesus. Heal reduction. Toxic bullets. Oh, my God. Toxic bullets got buffed. What the hell? That's going to be really good against, like, Shiv. We'll have to see how Shiv got hit, by the way. If they don't nerf Shiv this patch, that is, like, one of the biggest L's I've ever seen. Sharpshooter, cool, cool. Hero Aura, wait, <gasps> they buffed it. Let's go. Ooh, new tier three item, Headhunter. Right? Oh, interesting. Ooh, a bonus, 140 damage on headshot. That's crazy. Weapon did. Oh, <laughs> rested peace siphon. Siphon was crazy. So I, I kind of saw that coming, but. Rest in peace. Oh, lucky shot. Do you know what? I was, I was kind of like, I was kind of rooting for this item. So getting buffed is pretty good. Melee life steal. I like this. This is a good change because honestly, uh, I feel like when you punch some things, you're like, why did I get more out of that? So that's good. Healing right got buffed. That's also good. Divine barrier. I don't know really how much that's going to impact anything. Healing booster now has 15 heal. Okay. Oh, what? Wait, so they nerfed Leech also? That's interesting. Okay. Superior Stamina? Let's see. Oh, they buffed Rescue Beam. Slowly, slowly, we're going back to our formal... Like, back in the day, Rescue Beam used to be instant. It was stupid, and I kind of liked it. It was kind of goofy as fuck. So, I'm happy to see Rescue Beam doesn't take as long to channel anymore. Leech. Okay, we heard about that earlier. Countdown increase. Soul Re Why are you nerfing Soul Rebirth? I don't really get that one. I guess you could do that. I mean, I guess it's like a buff. On an I don't really get the point of this. Cool, I guess. Um, Phantom Strike. Oh. Okay. So it... Oh, wait. That oh, wait. That's uh, being dumb. They did nerf Phantom Strike a little bit. I mean, like, I feel like that isn't, like, too crazy. Health increase on ammo scav. All right. Ammo scav, I, I don't feel that crazy about on, like, Ivy, for example. So, I'll have to see how much that impacts me. Um, I'm going to see if there's any items that, like, really stand out to me. Let's see what Magic Carpet's up to. You're now unslowable. That's good. Oh, they nerfed Curse also. That's big. Refresher got a buff? Okay. Echo Shard got a buff. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Um, 
There's a couple of interesting item buffs right there. Nothing I could really say in terms of like big impact there. I think probably the nerf to Siphon Volts is going to be a big one because like everyone was running it. So maybe there's going to be a little more variation now, but let's get into hero buffs and nerfs because I feel like I'm going to have a little more like input on that one. Abrams. <laughs> Why are they nerfing Abrams? This pull oh, let's go! There was this animation where he did like a pull up. I'm so happy they brought that shit back. That shit is so good. Gun range. Okay, so the buff, Bebop. Oh, good good Bebop buff and uh quality of life change. I think honestly that's just been like some of the best things. I feel like Bebop's in a really good state right now. Like I he's not a great character, but I kinda don't think he needs to be a good character. I think he's just a really fun character, and I think that's all he really should be. So I'm happy to see that. But Dynamo, let's see what Dynamo's up to. Would you bring an aura? Okay, so we can Okay. Interesting. Gun damage. Gun yeah, gun dynamo is getting nerfed a little bit. Singularity cast time? Ooh, okay. So they nerfed Singularity a little bit. I mean it, it it's a team fight winner, so I, I guess that, that would make sense. Let's see. Grey Talon. Okay. Okay. Do you know I'm so down with this? I fucking hate fighting Grey Talon. Wait. God, yeah, they, they nerfed Grey Talon, good. Hayes, let's see, she probably got buffs. Yeah, she got buffs. This character needed it. She was kind of shitty. She deserves buffs. Infernus, okay, so the, a little bit of nerfs here. A little bit of nerfs for Infernus, I'm down with that. Okay, Ivy, this is the big shit. This is, this is, this is my thing. This is my thing. <laughs> um, Bullet damage growth per boon. Okay, so does it mean like the the cover i don't know what that means quite exactly but okay watcher covenant tier three wait what does this mean is this like a speed did they nerf the speed on watcher's covenant i mean i guess sure why not airdrop no longer silences enemies so i can like actually just be a helicopter now cool 50 percent less damage that makes sense uh no more like doing the seven ult bullshit anymore Movement adjust to be less frantic. Like, can I not mix up people as hard anymore? Is that what it's saying? Interesting. Fix airdrop bomb disappearing if you can't see. Okay, a uh, little bug. Self. Let's go. Okay, I've been saying self cast airdrop is one of the most horribly designed things in this game. So if it's getting nerfed, like I don't know if this is gonna be a big nerf to it exactly. If it goes up to like four seconds, I'm down with it. Like, this, I think self cast needs to be like absolutely nerfed. It is way too strong right now. Airdrop max move speed, good, good. Because honestly, they, they changed the duration to be nerfed and it was still not enough, so good nerf. Fix airdrop flight, can pitch. Okay, good, quality of life changes, getting stuck under bridges. Interesting, interesting. That's, those are some good uh, IV changes. I do think they do need to work on uh, Watcher's Covenant a little bit. I think it's still, I still don't feel like it has that much incentive to play with its team. I feel like Watcher's Covenant's effect should be reduced on Ivy. Like, I feel like Ivy should get less out of using the two, and her team members should get more. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like she should be a support character that doesn't have that self-sustain. So, I understand nerfing it a little bit, but I don't think they nerfed it in the right way. But I think that the change to the airdrop were good. I hope they keep it up on airdrop nerfs. Kelvin? Oh no. Oh no! What are they doing? What? Oh, hell no. Oh, Kelvin's gonna be an issue this patch. Oh, this is awful. I don't wanna deal with Kelvin like this. Firearm. Oh no, they nerfed Lash? What? I don't feel like Lash needed a nerf in that way. That's so stupid. What? Paradox, okay. Pocket, Barrage Amp, reduce from Okay, so they nerfed his bra. I mean, po par uh, not Paradox, uh, Pocket's really good, so... I don't know if that's gonna change him too much, but him, like, losing uh, some stack isn't... Or not stack, wait, is it? Yeah, some stack on his uh, amp is kind of rough, but I don't think it's gonna be, like, too crazy. Static charge, okay, storm clouds. Why are, why were, why are we nerfing seven? Okay. Shiv, yeah, this character's getting nuked. Yeah, all this is deserved. This is all deserved. This character is a fucking war crime. Holy hell. Vindicta, 
Okay, Nerf Vindicta also. Okay. I'm down with- oh my god, what do they do to Viscous? Primary fire redesigned so it's more usable and have improved damage and scaling. Now has alt fire that has limited range but deals AoE damage that cannot headshot. Okay. Wait, did you guys give him like his like splatter kinda on his alt fire? Is that what you're saying? Improve. Wait, so they buff splatter? Wait, what are they doing? Oh no. What? What are they doing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What are they doing? Oh, this isn't good. I think this is going to be broken this patch, Haiki. What are they doing? Oh, that's horrible. I don't like that. No. Warden just got straight nerfed that patch. Oh my god. Yamato. Um. Yeah, I... Uh, this is a good patch overall, but I'm a little worried about some of these characters. Uh, they kind of buffed some of my least favorite characters in the game right now. Like, I really do not like Viscous, and I really do not like Kelvin. So them getting buffed, and Kelvin got, like, crazy buffs, too. Both of them got crazy buffs. I am a little scared. I don't know if I fuck with that. But good changes to Ivy. Uh, good changes to Haze. Great Talon got nerfed. Dynamo got semi-nerfed. Interesting. Um... Honestly, we'll have to see how this plays out, but I think this is a pretty good patch from what I can see here. We'll have to see how it plays out and how I feel about it in like a week or two when like the next patch comes around. But for now, that's a pretty good patch. Um, overall, good changes. Good first like public update for the public. A lot of cool new changes. I have the wall jump a lot. That's a really cool new movement tech. Don't know if I agree with the lash like nerf slash change, but we'll have to see honestly. But honestly, that, that's... But for now, that's about it in terms. Of, but for now, that's about it in terms of like my feelings on this patch. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will probably be streaming this Saturday. See how this uh, patch plays out in full when people have figured out more stuff, and you'll probably hear some of my opinions around that time. So, until then, see you guys next time, and please and take care. See ya.